so you just cross your arms and that's it? Well, it's not quite that simple. Do you want me to show you? Yeah! You might want to stand back. That? Wait, that's just a gust of air. How'd you do that? Whoa, look at that chick. I haven't seen a woman that beautiful since, uh, well, ever. Do you ever get tired of degrading everyone around you? I just gave her a compliment. How is that degrading? Because she just knocked down a tree without even touching it. And you can only find value in the way she looks. Uh, all right then, if you love her so much, why don't you go date her? Wait, that's actually a really good idea. It looks like that man down there likes her though. I don't want to. Oh, you're gonna. You know why? Because he's my new <coughs> subordinate, and I'm gonna get a head start on making him miserable. I'm not going. Yeah, you are, because you're my new subordinate too. Now, <coughs> go. Those have to be the coolest bracelets I've ever seen. I mean, jewelry as weapons? Insane. When we go into battle against Ares, I can show you what else they're capable of. You mean Thanos. I'd love that. Uh, hey man, what can we do for you? I just noticed you two from inside that cabin and wanted to come say hi. I'm Superman. Nice to meet you. I'm Diana. This is Bronson. Yep, I'm Bronson. <laughs> wow, you're muscular. Uh, do you drink, uh, you drink protein shakes or something? Uh, no. It's a side effect from training as much as I do. Oh, you train a lot too? What for? I help people who need help, and I need to be strong enough to be prepared for anything. That's such a coincidence. I do the same thing. Well, I just started. I'm going to kill Ares. I mean, Thanos. Ares? I don't think I've heard of him. Why don't you tell me over some lunch? That sounds nice. Should I meet you here later, Bronson? Oh, well, well I don't think you should leave. I could get a call from our boss any minute now, and then we could go fight Thanos together. We've waited a long time. I think we can wait a little longer. I'll see you later. Man, I can't catch a break. Every time I start to like someone. Ugh. <laughs> he got me high above. Like the sun by the moon. He's a star, baby. I'm lighting up. Like a fool, it's true, it's true He's making me blow my mind and I Can't stand the thought of being without us I'm being honest, y'all, I'm being honest We just do what we do Ain't no joke about love He's the one that I die for Can't long side by side Can't believe that he is mine We just do what we do me blow my mind and I can't stand the thought of being without us I'm being honest y'all mm, yeah. He's making me jump from high ground Keeps catching me every time I fall He got me safe inside Yeah, the world was so different outside of the Mesquira. Thank you for showing some of it to me. I had a great time. Of course. You know, there's something about you that's different from anyone I've met before. Oh, hey, Superman. How's your date going? <laughs> it's over now. But it was really nice, wasn't it? Yes, it was. The plan works perfectly. Wait, what plan? Uh, never mind. There was no plan. No plan at all. <laughs> Wait, you took her out unironically? Like for an actual date? Yes, I did. I wouldn't have done it if you hadn't encouraged me. But I thought she was beautiful and we discovered we had some things in common. What are you talking about? Uh, you weren't supposed to actually date her. Just make Bronson think you were going to. That's just mean. Uh, well, that's Rick for you. 
The destroyer of romance and joy. Did you ask me out to make Bronson sad? No. So you did. And you put him up to it. Yep. Guilty. I thought it would be funny, which it <clears throat> totally was. I thought you were nice. Why would you do something like that for a joke? Oof, you really blew it, man. She's gone. But I bet it was worth it. <laughs> you should have seen Bronson's face. I actually liked her, Rick. You'd be crazy not to. Just look at her. You're not helping. Yes, ma'am. I'll inform the new recruit of this development. And we'll both be headed that way soon. Hello, Bronson. Was that your boss? Yeah, actually it was. We got word that our alliance with the people of this island is official. Oh, that's good news. We have a new assignment, too. So we better get going to headquarters. Once Dr. Sloan meets you, I'm sure she won't have any problem assisting you in finding your target. Oh, right, Ares. I mean, Thanos. Diana, are you all right? You seem sad. It's stupid. I knew this would happen if I let my guard down with men. Oh, no. Did Superman hurt you somehow? You're so strong, it seems... He only asked me out to lunch as a joke. Oh. Well, listen. You're the most wonderful woman I've ever met. You're just... incredible. Don't let him ruin your day. Okay? Hmm. Thank you, bro. Diana, there's something I have to tell you. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I don't want to speak with you right now. And don't say anything. Just listen. You're right to be angry. It was stupid of me to ask you out because a mean old man wanted to make a joke. But the truth is, even though it started out as a joke, throughout the day, I kept thinking about how wonderful you really are. You did? Of course. I mean, look at yourself. You're strong, brilliant, and beautiful. You know you're a catch. Well, I'm a little harder on myself than that, but thank you. That makes me feel better. <coughs> well, uh... Believe it or not, I have good news. You do? Because of our new alliance with that group of people on the island, we might all be working together. Oh, that is good news. You're Bronson, right? Yeah, and you're Superman. I'm sure I'll make Diana happy to be able to work with you. We'll find out, won't we? It'll be another thing we have in common. Ahem. <laughs> well, I think I should be heading back to headquarters. You coming, Diana? I think I'll stay in this cabin and have a word with that Rick fellow first. I'm still angry with him. Right. Well, uh, I'll catch you later then. I'll keep you company. Who knows how long he'll be. There are a lot of interesting people I'm sure you'll be excited to meet. <sighs> At least she's happier now. Are you sure we can just walk in here? Hmm. Well, that depends on whom you are. Oh, sorry to intrude. I'm Diana, and this is Superman. We're working with Rick and Midas. They were using this cabin earlier. Do you know them? Huh. M knows you? Well, a friend of his is a friend of mine. Wait, did you say your name was Superman? Well, actually, she said it. Why do you ask? It just seems like an old name is all, but I think your outfit is super cool. Oh, thank you. My name is actually Kal-El, but most people know me as Superman. Cal L. I like that. So, how did you guys meet Rick and M? We were both recently introduced. We want to help fight the Chimera invasion and the new alliance with the Imagined Order. Yes, it is my life's purpose to slay Thanos. Wait, we're in an alliance with IO now? This is so much new information! Ugh, what a day. I just want to go to sleep. Janet, what do I do? What are you complaining about? Square your shoulders. Dr. Sloan's going to be here soon. I met someone out there. This absolutely incredible lady. And she wants to see someone else. What happened to your weird crush on Dr. Sloan? I was responsible for bringing you on board. Now, if you can't do your job and do it well... Ah, there it is. Gotta use me to impress the pretty boss lady, yeah? Okay, you knew that was the plan. Don't act like you forgot. Now get over here and do your job. All right, all right. I won't bite the hand that feeds me. You know that. You better not. And next time I see you with her, you better be more professional. No more flirting. It took me forever to move on from her. 
Don't get me wrong, she's amazing, but she's completely married to her job. We all are. That's what you sign up for by becoming an IO agent. Yeah, I guess. I just need to stop being surrounded by strong women. Oof. I take offense to that. Shut up, you know what I mean. All I know is you keep falling for woman after woman for no reason. Did this new lady even give you any indication she liked you? Her name's Diana. And yeah, I thought she did. Okay. Is it one of those, she's flirty with everyone so I couldn't really tell situations? <sighs> Maybe it was. I thought we were really connecting, but she's so amazing she probably connects with everyone. All right. How about you stop obsessing, go to the barracks, and get yourself cleaned up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you sad, lovesick man. Wake up. There's a war going on, Bronson. <laughs>